back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my makeup for when I go out on date night. And I thought that this video would be really fun and really helpful for those who are especially going on a first date. It can be really nerve-wracking and makeup is probably the second thing you think of when you think of going out on a date. You of course think of what outfit you're going to wear, but you also want to make your face look pretty. We're going to start with a bare face for today's video because I wanted to take you guys through the whole process of how I get ready when it comes to makeup. So right now all I have on is my moisturizer. You want to make sure that you use a really good hydrating moisturizer because you definitely don't want your foundation or your powder products to stick and accentuate your flaky parts of your face. So make sure you really hydrate your face and have it moisturized. So that's all I have on right now and a little bit of lip balm. You guys know that I usually start out my foundation routine with my Tarte Primer and I love this stuff and it does a really great job at keeping my makeup on all night. But just for today's video, I wanna do things a little bit differently and use a makeup setting spray. This is a great trick for keeping your makeup on all night without having to add any powder products or any extra coverage on your face because you don't want to look kicky on date night guys like a really simple clean face so I'm just going to spray a few spritz of this on my face just to act as my primer this does a really great job at um keeping my makeup on all night as well as just evening out my skin tone and preparing my face for the products I'm about to put on so just a few spritz and I'm just going to let that dry before we move on to foundation. So for date nights, I like to use a really light to medium coverage foundation because I don't want to come off as cakey or that I'm trying too hard or really masking my skin. Guys just like a really nice natural look and believe me, they wouldn't notice if you had an extra blemish that was showing or anything that would just make you look more comfortable with your skin and that you were a little bit more natural rather than a caked on face. So for date night, I really like to use my NARS foundation. This is my go-to foundation for date night because it gives me the perfect amount of coverage it's kind of on the light to medium side so it gives you a really even base without looking cakey it still looks like natural skin so I'm just gonna do one pump of this all over my face and I'm just patting this and buffing it into my skin with the real techniques bluffing not bluffing buffing brush and this does a really great job at spreading your foundation it gives you a really nice coverage it doesn't leave any streaky lines and I really like it it's super super soft Again, when it comes to blemishes, I really wouldn't worry about it too much or do too much to cover it because you really see how patchy it is and especially if it's a acne spot that's a little bit patchy and a little bit dry, whatever you put on top of it is going to cling to that dry spot and accentuate that blemish. So I'd really just do a light coverage of a concealer. I'm going to skip covering my blemishes all together because the foundation already gives me a really even skin tone. I have a few blemishes on my chin but I'm not even going to worry about that. But I do like to cover up my under eye circles just a little bit because I'm going to be doing a smoky eye and it just looks kind of unbalanced when you have a dark smoky eye and a little bit of darkness underneath your eyes. It just doesn't look nice. So I'm just going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard and just do a few drops under my eyes. And that's really it. I'm not trying to cover every single blemish or dark spot on my face. I still want my face to look like skin and to look natural, but just evened out. So this is perfect for that. Now that I have an even base, I'm just going to top everything off with a little bit of powder just to take away any shine and to control the oils throughout the night. So I'm literally just going to do two taps into, okay, three taps into my um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So with the powder, I'm just going to set my under eye concealer and then just hit this over my T-zone just to take away a little bit of the shine. That way my T-zone is nice and matte while the rest of my face still looks really nice and glowy and dewy and still looking like natural skin texture. So I'm basically done with my face. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little bit and show you how I do my eyes. So for date night, I usually do a really simple bronzy smoky eye. So to start out, I'm just going to prime my eyes with the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Bad to the Bronze. And I'm just going to pick some up on my brush and put that on my lid. I'm going to take a little bit on the tip of my brush and line my lower lash line with it as well. So 
So now that we have our bronzy base down, I'm going to go in with the color Radar from the new Urban Decay Smoky Palette and just pack that onto my lids on top of that primer. I'm taking that same color on a smaller shader brush and lining my lower lash line with that as well. Then I'm taking a big fluffy brush and going with the color Combust from the same palette and I'm just going to blend out our lid color so this is going right into our crease. Then to intensify this look a little bit more and make it look a little bit more smoky, I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and go in with the color Whiskey, which is just a really nice matte brown. I'm going to focus this color on the outer corner and just a little bit into the crease. We don't want to darken this look up too much because we don't want a really dark smoky eye. We want it to look a little bit more neutral and bronzy. So I'm just going to put this on the outer corner and blend it into my crease. See how this eye looks just a little bit more smoky without being too much? So I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other eye. And to create a really nice transition from that matte dark brown up into our brow bone color, I'm going to use the color Wander from my Tarte Tarte Lip Palette. And this is just a really nice um, matte mid-tone brown. And I'm just going to put that right on top of where we place the dark brown. And for my brow bone color, I'm just going to go in with the color Foxy from my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm just going to put this right underneath my eyebrows and right on top of that brow bone. This color looks really natural because it's matte and kind of close to my skin tone. So just use whatever color that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone and a matte color. I'm going to take that same dark matte brown called Whiskey and just smoke out my bottom lash line with it. And I'm just putting this color on the two-thirds of my outer eye because I want that bronzy color that we place um, under our lower lash line to still peek through. So I'm just going to put this on the two-thirds of the outer eye. And for my inner corner highlight, my favorite color to put in it is actually a highlighter. This is the Mary Luminizer from The Balm and this is my favorite color to put as my inner corner highlight because it really brightens up your eyes but it still looks really natural and pretty. So I'm just going to place this right in the inner corners. And to make our eyes look even sexier and sultrier, I'm going to tightline and waterline my eyes with a black eyeliner. And today I'm using the MAC PowerPoint Eye Pencil in the color Engraved. You can use whichever pencil that you like to use. So I'm just going to line my upper waterline and then tightline my lower lash line. And to add even more intensity, I just lined my upper lash line with a liquid liner. I didn't do any kind of wings liner or any flick. I literally just lined my upper um, lash line and you can kind of tell the difference. It's very subtle, but it does look a little bit smokier, a little bit more intense and it accentuates your eye shape really nicely without looking too unnatural. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye just to even them out. You can certainly stop right here and just throw on some mascara to your upper and lower lashes. 
but of course I'm going to be throwing on some false lashes and I'm going to be using one of my favorite lashes. They are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They look really natural and add a really nice shape to your eye no matter what eye shape you have because they're shorter in the inner corners and it kind of flares out to be a little bit longer on the outer corners. So I'm just going to throw these on really quick, throw some mascara on my lower lash line and I'll be right back with you for the rest of the face. So since my eyes are pretty dark and smoky, I want to keep the rest of my face looking really natural and just kind of a flushed bronze. So to achieve that look, I'm going to go in with my well-loved and poorly beaten up Orgasm and Laguna Duo from NARS. So I'm just going to go in with Laguna first, which I obviously need to pick up a new one, and just lightly bronze my face to give it a little bit of color. I'm not going for any intense defining contouring because that doesn't look natural to me on a date night. I really just want that sun-kissed glow on my face to make everything else look really natural and have the main focus on my smoky eye. So I'm just going to lightly dust this on my cheeks on my jawline and a little bit on my forehead and temple just to give myself a nice bronze look and then a little bit on the tip of my nose so that was really it for bronzer. Again, I don't want anything too defined or too contoured. So next we're going to move on to blush. So I'm just going to go in with my orgasm blush. So I'm just going to do a light dusting of this on my cheeks. If you want to highlight your face a little bit, I would really suggest going for a highlighter that is a little bit more subtle and nothing too sparkly or shiny or too kind of pigmented. I wouldn't suggest anything as pigmented or as glowy as the Mary Luminizer from the Balm because it is a little bit more intense and pigmented. Although it provides a beautiful glow, I think it's a little bit much for a date night. So my favorite highlighter that gives a really nice glowy dewy effect without being too much is from hard candy this is about four dollars at walmart and this is their um soap baked bronzer in the color tiki so i'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put it right on top of my cheekbones So you can see that it highlights my cheeks really nicely, but it still looks natural um, face on as well as when you turn. You can see the highlight, but it doesn't look fake or unnatural or too disco ball-y, which is what we want for date night. Again, since I want the main focus to be my smoky eye, I'm going to keep my lips really nude and to a minimum. So for that, I'm just going to use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Stockholm. This is the perfect nude color and it stays matte, but it's not matte enough that you look dead. It provides a really pretty natural lip texture, which is just really amazing. So I'm just going to do a light layer of this on my lips. And this is the finished look to my perfect date night makeup look. It's really sexy and smoky and sultry and you still look really natural and like yourself. You just look like a sexier version of yourself which is exactly what you want on a date night. I hope you guys liked this video and this makeup tutorial and I hope that you found it helpful and if you are going on a date, especially if it's a first date, I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!